guys and welcome to another review. As you know the Cinderella movie has just come out so I thought I'd go to the Disney store and review the Cinderella doll. It obviously is a lot different to the normal regular Cinderella doll that has been out for years and years because it's based on the actual actress uh, Lily James. So I just thought we'd go and buy it and see what it's like. It says it captures the essence and details of Walt Disney Studios newest live action movies designed with the Disney fan and collector in mind. So some people might actually even buy this and not even open the box. Uh, but for all those little girls out there who want the toy we're going to have a look at what it's like and what the quality is like. As you can see on the back her dress that she's wearing here this is the one that she's supposedly wearing here. And they've put a lot of detail into this. So, let me look at her face, all the glittery bits, even her hair. As you can see, the price I just paid is £25.95, pence, and that was from the actual Disney store in the UK. I don't think there's many places you can get this from. I've seen it on Amazon, but they charge stupid amounts, like £40. Even in the US, like $40. So I do think you are better off going to your nearest Disney store and buying it if you really want it. So, oh look, you can actually feel her dress inside. So let's open it and see what she's like. <laughs> Okay, so once you get her open, one of the first things you notice is how puffed up her dress is. That's because Disney like to put tissue paper in there. It makes it look absolutely great, but obviously if you're going to play with it, you really need to take that out. So we just pop this out. Ooh. It's actually tied around one of her legs. There we go. That's out. She still looks good. So... She's very elegant looking. She's got poseable arms and hands. If you look even down to the finer details of the dress, she's got little butterfly, um, 3D butterflies on there. There's gemstones on the dress. It's got nice glittery mesh on the front of it as well. So the actual dress has got one, two, three layers and the netting underneath as well. And she's actually got nice little shoes or slippers should we say <laughs> um, the transparent perhaps to look like the glass slippers and they've got a nice little butterfly on the front as well now what I do like what Disney do and probably other makes do as well is when you first get it they've got like this little elastic band around the shoe now if you've got a child playing with it who constantly loses the doll's shoes then it's a good idea to leave that on that way then they don't just fall off. Um, so yeah, her hair's done really nice. And you see she's got like a little the little plait there and she's got all the curl in her hair, which obviously is gonna go if a child's gonna brush it, but that's how she comes out anyway. And she's got more butterflies at the back, even two bigger ones actually as well. She's really, really nice looking. Um it says from 3 plus but I'd just be careful that these don't come off and then the child swallows it. So one of the things it does say is that it's modelled on the uh, the film actress uh, Lily James so you can see there's a picture of her on the, back, on the back of the box. I don't think it's probably the best picture to compare her to but there you go. You can kind of see You'll be able to see what Cinderella's face looks on the doll anyway. But I mean the dress looks good compared to the one in the um in the actual film. Um she's got obviously she you know she's the same quality as as other Disney dolls, which is good. And like I say, you can pose her, her head turns and everything. Now her legs. Um, I have not got the poseable joint on. They are just normal. 
but yeah she looks good she's really really nice any little girl's gonna love this as long obviously as long as I like dolls but even once you've taken out the uh, the tissue paper her dress is still nice and puffy it's a really nice dress so the dress you've got this mesh material underneath then the next layer is like um, it's like a a silky sort of material then the next blue layer after that is like a see through it's very soft material and then we've got like this blue meshy material with glitter in it so it gives it like a really nice two-tone look because obviously having two different um, blues that are transparent almost and then this nice light blue underneath it gives it like a really nice two-tone look um, and if you can see there as well it's actually not a dress it's a two-piece uh, so it's a top and a skirt with a bit over to make it look like a nice dress so the detail in the eyes I don't know if you can really pull the camera up a bit don't know if you can see the detail in the eyes and the lips even the eyelashes it's really really nice it's really good detail like I say with the way that the hair's done as well it's really nice and neat I've done a really good job on this um, I definitely be happy to go and get this as a present it's really nice uh, if the child does want to take the dress off it's just velcro at the back up see and then obviously for the skirt part as well there's a bit of velcro there and yeah like I said already she's really really pretty the only thing I'd probably say isn't so good is the face expression look let's have a look not a very happy face expression you know, maybe, you know, the film's not like the original film, yeah. But for a collector, obviously, it doesn't matter. But for a little girl, I think maybe it might have been better with a little bit of a happier face. But either way, never mind. She's very, very pretty. Very well made. Um, This video, to be honest, or any pictures, that don't do it justice. You'd have to see it in person. Um, uh, how nice this doll is. So yeah, look. Give her, should we give her a twirl? Do, 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 do. There you go. Um, she's definitely a good quality. You know, not. It, you know, we know that the the twelve pound dolls, they're nice. They're still nice, but then you get like. The deluxe dolls and they're just that little bit better and this one is really nice i know that they do do uh some of the other characters as well and i've seen um the fairy godmother but it wasn't in the store today so i'm not sure if that's only available in america at the moment and i'm pretty sure there's another one hanging around as well and possibly one with uh, a cinderella and the prince uh you know two doll set have a look on the internet. I'm sure I've seen them on there. But again, like I say, uh, when I went in the store today, it was only this one that was on offer. Disney Store are doing a few little girly accessories as well. There's things like a tiara. Um, not sure if there was something like a necklace with the tiara as well. They're also doing like a really nice um, gold handbag for the girls. You know, maybe even women. I don't know. You might want it. Um... I'm not, I can't remember what the price was on them, but again, if you go on the store, everything what is there for Cinderella is on there. So you'll be able to have a really good look at what's there. But, you know, if you're, if you're a little girl or, or um, a relative, the birthday's coming up. This is a really nice buy. I say it's it's $25.95 in the UK. So that is the Cinderella doll from the Disney film collection modelled on the film actress Lily James so there you go that's my review if you liked it please like or subscribe maybe leave a comment with a toy that you want me to review I'm hoping to get some newer ones with all the films that are coming out for the kids um, so keep an eye out for more reviews I'll also review some Maybe slightly older toys or perhaps give you some deals that are on offer. Keep looking back. I'm going to put more reviews on. And if you've got any um, advice, please, please let me know.
thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another review. Bye-bye.